Welcome to the Foxhole. I'm Nandor Fox Schaefer. And before we get into today's video, if you haven't yet, please go and sign up to get notified when Manchild Issue 1 launches on Kickstarter August 2nd. This is my new comic book series that I'm really stoked for, and I hope you are too. I'm trying to hit 100 followers by the time the campaign launches again on August 2nd, and we're nearly halfway there. So get in there, guys. But yeah, please sign up if you haven't. Would love for you to be a part of this comic. And yeah, let's get to today's video. So I've been planning on doing this video for a while now, and I found out that today is actually Superman Day, so I thought this is the perfect time to post this. In recent years, Superman has become one of my favorite characters to think about and to talk with others about because you will find that a lot of people have really strong opinions on Superman. Either people love him or strongly hate him. And they usually hate him because they think he's boring, because they think he's overpowered and that makes him boring. And so he's not a very relatable character in that way. More recently, I've thought that that's a very, I think, short-sighted view of the character. And you need to dig a little deeper on, into who this character is because, I mean, he is Superman. He's He is the hero the paragon of what it means to be a superhero and of heroism and of really that idea of being a better person. I um, haven't read very many Superman stories, but I've been changing that recently. As you know, if you've been following my channel, I'm a pretty big Tom King fan. I find his work to be thought-provoking whether or not you actually agree with him or not. Uh, a lot of people disagree with maybe his take on certain characters and uh, maybe he's a little one note or just kind of like is so cynical, but I would have to disagree insofar as to say that a good writer is someone who makes you think and it's better than just reading a comic and going, eh, like what was that? I really prefer reading stuff that I either disagree with <laughs> like passionately or, you know, love. So how does Tom King and Superman correlate together? Well, that would be why I have Superman Up in the Sky, which is written by Tom King, art by Andy Kubert, son of Joe Kubert, uh, one of the best artists in the business. Now, what makes Superman Up in the Sky stand out to me and so special compared to other Superman stories and just other comics in general is it gets to the heart of the character with every page and it represents the character in such a way that if you hate Superman you cannot read this book and go yeah I still hate Superman or I don't find him that cool or whatever because this book is phenomenal it bleeds hope in the altruistic nature of Superman each story tackles a different angle of his character and when I was reading it, I couldn't put it down. It's powerful. It's a powerful story about Superman leaving Earth to go save one little girl and the ethical implications of what that could mean for Earth and for him as a character. It's just mind blowing. Like as I was reading it, I thought, whoa, like this, this is so like, what a great story. What a great way to tackle the character from different points of view and showcase who he is at his heart. I mean, this story takes Superman from Earth into the far reaches of space trying to find this little girl. And on this star-crossed adventure, he goes 12 rounds in a boxing match. He has to face his fears regarding if Lois Lane is safe on Earth without him. And there's a story where he's picturing all of the things that could be happening to Lois while he's far away and unable to save her if she needed him. There's even a story where Clark Kent and Superman get separated. So they're like two different people and they have to try to get along and talk with each other. And you see the humanness of Clark Kent and the quote unquote Superman nature of him at odds and trying to work together. There's even a story where Darkseid has Superman contemplate having to 
assist uh, alien and their own suicide because that alien is in pain and is dying. And the story plays out not how you would normally think it would. And there's also another story where the father of this other alien family has to give up his life to save Superman and leave his family because he knows how important Superman is to the universe. Oh, there's even a story where he teams up with Sergeant Rock and then also they cover the race between Superman and Flash around the world and who's the fastest. And there's even a little bit where Superman is asked who would win in a fight, Superman or Batman? And Superman responds, well, Batman. And he says, because Batman has to be happy every once in a while. I mean, things like that, that you're just like, this is how you tell a Superman story. By the end of it, it becomes this touching, life-affirming, hopeful story that covers really complex issues and ethical dilemmas that Superman has to face. And all the while I'm reading this, I'm thinking, why hasn't anyone recommended this to me? Why hasn't anyone talked about this? Why have none of my friends or people I know at the comic shop said, hey, Nandor, you got to read this. You got to give this a shot. And that's just the story. The art for this book, Andy Kubert, oh my goodness. This is like beautiful. This is some of his best work that I have seen. And with Sandra Hope on inks and Brad Anderson on colors, how can this not be one of the most gorgeous Superman stories that you've read? And I know this originally came out during when DC was doing distribution to Walmart, and this was like a part of that whole initiative they were trying to do. And so I understand why some people may have missed this, because I did. I was one of those people, and I only got around to reading it because I saw that they had a collection of it. And so that's what I bought. And I just couldn't put it down. And I wanted to share my love for this book and for Superman in this video because yeah, it's Superman day and we all need to be like Superman a little more, right? And this book, if you are on the fence about Superman, if you don't like Superman, if you love Superman, if you've never read a Superman story, Start here, enjoy this, and tell me what you think, because this really is one of the best Superman stories that I think a lot of people have missed. It's not just the story, it's the art too, and I keep saying that because this is a gorgeous book. Andy Kubert brings his A-game, one of the best-looking Superman books that I've seen in years. All right, I'm done. I'm getting off my soapbox here. Just wanted to let everyone know. This is a Superman story that you don't want to miss out on.